what is going on guys welcome to your 17th video and in this video what we're going to be doing is finally start coding some PHP so let me go ahead and give you guys a little bit of background of what we're going to do first I decide you know probably the easiest thing to do is go ahead and work from top to bottom however if you scroll around this website for a little bit you're gonna notice a few things this section down here changes but look at this this is the main page and whenever we go to the register page we still have our logo the links at the top and the search bar login page logo link search bar even on the search page if we search for something like the new Boston and go ahead and hit search the logo the links are at the top and the search bars at the top on every single page so we can code this website in one of two ways. We can go ahead and include the logo, the links, and the search bar at the top in all of our code right here, or a more efficient way is we can just go ahead and write this code one time and include it on every single page that we need to. And this is a better way not only because it's easier and faster, but then if we ever decide, you know what, I actually spelled register wrong or I want to add another link or another category, we only have to change it in one location and it changes on every single page. So let's go ahead and do that and what I decided to do is I'm going to go ahead and make all my little HTML code and include it in another file because then it's all in one location. Now I'm going to name this file HTML codes and again this is pretty much going to be all of the HTML codes that you reuse on multiple web pages. So let's go ahead and make a new file. I'm just going to make this real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and save this as under includes, save it as htmlcodes.php. Now, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to create the header. Now, of course, the header is the location with your logo and also the links. Now, I probably should mention this even though they say register and log in right now whenever you either register or log in the links are gonna change they're gonna say like my account my messages so in order to add this feature you of course need PHP so let me go ahead and hop into our HTML codes and let's go ahead and code this header first now let's go ahead and build a function and since this file is going to have a whole bunch of functions in it what I like to do is I like to add a comment above each function because just for visualization purposes whenever you're scrolling through a huge list of function it's really easy to see in green code for header and search bar it's really easy to see because comments are green in notepad plus plus and it's really easy to point out where your functions start and where they end so let's just go ahead and build a function and let's name this header and search code. So basically the job of this function is pretty much to provide the HTML for the header, which is the logo and the links and the search bar at the top. Why? Because then we only need to build this function once and we can include it on every single web page. So header and search code, let's go ahead and get to it. Now before we actually start coding, I want to show you guys a cool feature that I put in this website. Usually, whenever you search for something such as, I don't know, oh, la la la, baked beans, and you go, what this is going to do is right now we're on the home page. Whenever we hit search, it's going to take us to the search page. Now by default, whenever you go to a new page, your form values are lost. So by default, this form would be blank again, and you would have to type in whatever, baked beans again. However, whenever the user searches for an item, I thought it would be cool to keep that value in there. Then if they say, you know what, I meant beans with a Z or something like that, they can just edit it real quick. It's the same functionality that Amazon and eBay uses. It's better than having the, you know, lose your value and retype it in every time. So in order to keep that value we actually need to get it from the URL now hopefully you guys watch the PHP tutorials and you know about getting post and if you don't then I highly recommend doing that but anyways I'm gonna store that value in a variable called default text and of course HTML entities is a function that we're gonna use now what HTML entities does is it basically takes any weird symbol like quotation marks and it converts them to HTML safe 
it's actually when I talk about PHP security, I'll touch more about this, but uh, definitely look this up and uh, it's going to be very useful. Now, the value that we need to get is actually a value from the URL, which is git, and I just named it keywords. So basically, as you can see, whenever you search for something, your keywords get passed through the URL right there. And all we are doing is we're grabbing them again and we're gonna put the default value for this form right there. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then trust me, you will in about um, one minute whenever I build this form. So now that we grabbed a variable, which is pretty much the default search term, let's go ahead and start making some actual code. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna work on the header. Now the header, remember whenever we coded it in CSS, see if I can find it the header is the space with the logo and top link so we have to make sure to name it main header whenever we create that so let's go ahead and echo that I'm gonna use um, single quotation marks since I'm not passing any uh, variables in and now let's go ahead and make the header now the idea of this was of course main header and the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and the first thing I'm going to code is these links right here. Now, again, remember in, if I can find it, in the CSS file, we created a section called, I'll find it eventually, right align right here. Wow, it was right under it. And basically, this is the section that we need to put our links in. This is what makes the links appear on the right hand side of the web page. So let's go ahead and add another div. This one has the ID of right align. Is that how I wrote it? Yep, right align. Now, inside here, what we can do is we can go ahead and make those links. Now, typically, what you would do is you would just write the HTML code for the links. However, remember this these links aren't going to be normal links they're going to be dynamic depending on whether the user is logged in or if they're logged out they're going to change for example right now we're not logged in that's why they say register or log in whenever we do log in they're going to say messages my account so on and so forth so in order to make those links links dynamic i'm going to add another function called top actually let's just go ahead and right now put links will be here and we'll have to remember to make a function later on to actually um, create those links but for now we'll just add a comment to make things real quick the next thing I want to do is echo some more stuff so basically that is where the links are going to go so the first thing that we need to do is we need to end that div so there you go so after this the next thing we want to do is we need to include this logo right here so what I did, I know I probably should have uh, waited for you guys, but I actually uploaded the images to the test site already, and I, I actually made in a uh, fake logo called mainlogo.ping. I don't know why I said fake logo. It's just like a tester logo. So href index.php. Now, what I want to do is anytime the user clicks on this logo, I want them to go ahead and be taken to the main home page. For example, if they're on the login page and they go ahead and click this logo, I want it to go ahead and be a link to the main page. So in order to make this image a link, just go ahead and make a link to index.php and we might as well go ahead and end that link right there. Now inside this link, what I want to do is I want to add the image for the logo. So image source equals It's in a file called images main logo dot ping. Now what I like to do is just tighten this up a bit. And now check it out. We now included our main logo and we also made it a link to the home page. Pretty cool, huh? Now the last thing I want to do right here is just go ahead and close out that header and now check it out. Our header is basically complete. Again, the main header was this section that we already styled with the logo and links. What we did right here is we pretty much included the links on the top right hand side and we also added our picture 
or our logo and we also gave it the functionality that whenever you click the logo it takes you to your main page so in the next tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to start coding the search bar and finally then we're going to be done with this main top section and we're ready to move on to the good register stuff but for now thank you guys for watching and forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video